How you doing guys? I wanted to show you my miniature Dutch bucket micro hydroponic system. We intend on uh, growing mint and herbs during the winter here in the garage. Got a uh, T12 double full spectrum grow light, pretty inexpensive, picked up at Home Depot. Um, all this is four inch sewer drain pipe. It is not the thicker schedule 40. Um, these have flat bottoms on them with the sewer pipes for the test caps versus the rounded bottoms for the Schedule 40 PVC end caps. So we chose to go with that. Did half inch drain lines, and these are actually half inch screw in fittings. And then we used, if you go outside to Home Depot and the where the garden hoses are, they sell a little O ring grommet kits for replacements for garden hoses. They work real nice for sealing up the, the seal between the two. So you just basically tighten the threads in between those two and they sandwich together. Uh, would note that this is actual PVC, not CPVC. CPVC is a different size, so you must pay attention to which size you use if you want to duplicate this. And then everything else we got going on here is just a basic Rainbird meter head. This is a uh, one gallon hour head and kind of see the flow that we got there and that's with the pump on full tilt and uh, I've got a I believe it's a 260 gallon per hour flow rate on the pump and it comes down here and it dumps down and it goes down into the Home Depot bucket uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of feedback on that but this bucket will be changed out to black to keep from degrading the fertilizer mix in there you can see that everything is going to drain back down to the pump suspended <laughs> That's pretty much it. We're going to uh, use a perlite. Pick these up for two dollars and fifty cents a bag. We got two bags of it. Um, that did come from Walmart. Uh, kind of pretty shocked to actually see it there. It's the first time I've seen them there, and shocked at how inexpensive it was. And then I also picked up. To start out with, we're going to do a little bit of organic mint leaves. So we'll keep you posted once everything is uh, planted, and I'll put a secondary part two video up to show you everything growing. Hopefully we'll have some nice dark green, large leaf mint. And uh, that's about it. Y'all have a good day.